What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing and online coach and this is my 30 day challenge trying to get famous on TikTok. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys, so welcome to the video and as I mentioned in the introduction, we are going to be trying to get famous on uh, TikTok and to be fair, it's been a platform that I have underestimated. Um, obviously, you know, it's been around for a while now, a good few months um, towards the end of 2019, it did, you know, really blow up. It's probably been around like much, but like, it's been popular much uh, longer than that, but to be fair, I only saw that figured out that it was like a a platform that was gaining attention and traction around the end of 2019 and uh, like i said you know i didn't have an account i don't really check it um i wasn't really taking any notice to it if you will and to obviously stick to my uh, you know tunnel vision to stick to my uh, own things instagram and youtube but to be honest with my growing dissatisfaction with uh, instagram you know to be fair it's I, when I scroll my newsfeed now, it's just the same old, you know, the same things every single day, the same people. Obviously, you know, I do follow the same people, so it is obvious. But I feel like there's no more creativity on the platform. Everyone is just pissed off by the algorithm. Uh, engagement is at an all-time low. And I just don't really like spending a lot of time on it. I only really use it now to answer direct messages from you guys. But other than that, I don't really post all too often. I'll post like the I'll post like two to three stories a day, and that is about it. Unless... Um, I've got something informational to give you guys or something like that. But other than that, it's literally like two, three posts a day and that is it. And obviously, you know, my main, um, basically, uh, source of uh, content is on YouTube. You know, I do spend a lot of time on YouTube. I really, really like YouTube. I enjoy every single moment of it. And then obviously you've got TikTok. And I just see my, I, 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 I'm starting to spend much more time on it. In my downtime, I just catch myself just mindlessly going through the feed and it's so addictive. It's unreal how addictive this platform is. So I thought, okay, you know, if I find this addictive and I'm I'm like someone that is like very much aware of how social media affects us and I try and limit myself on the platforms as much as possible. And if even I've, you know, struggled to get off the platform, then it, it, it has got something, you know, some, something that, people find interesting and people just cannot uh, leave alone so I thought okay why not try it out and you know let's just leave Instagram for a bit focus on TikTok for the next 30 days see how far we get um obviously say I want to get TikTok famous it's not really the goal of this um you know this challenge it's just more to see okay well, how what would happen if I actually dedicated uh you know a couple of hours a day on TikTok for 30 days to see how far we get I have a goal in mind of 10,000 followers on TikTok. I have no idea if I'm lowballing it or if that is very ambitious. Like I said, I'm not on the platform, so I don't know. I do have an account, um, but you know, I don't post anything on it. I literally just scroll through the newsfeed. So what we're going to be doing today is actually redownloading that account because I did delete it um, and we are going to create an actual account and start posting content on it. Okay, so I'm now downloading TikTok and by the way guys, apologies for the audio. Um, usually I have like a, a lavalier mic and I connect it to my phone, but obviously if I'm using my phone, I can't connect it to the audio. So uh, apologies for that, but please bear with me. You know, obviously it is all for this challenge. There we go, open TikTok, make, Videos, yeah, that's fine. Choose your interests, say life, comedy, learning, life hacks. Uh, that will do. Next, swipe up, keep the sub and more videos, start watching. TikTok would like to send you notifications, that's fine. I could get you satisfied. Sure. So the other day, I said, Can you make it so these glasses go empty for. Okay, that's fine. Sign up to create an account. Okay, there we go. Actually, we got four followers. Let me see. Oh, shout out to Max, Shireen, Glenn, and Aaron for following me, even though I've got no content on this whatsoever. Um, okay, so there we go. So that is my account. Uh, all activity. So for those of you that do not know how um, TikTok works, on the left hand side, you've got your homepage, then you've got your discover page where you can just see stuff that's trending and things that you know are relevant to those hashtags. You've got your inbox where you can see who's following you, who's messed you, etc. And then you've got me, which is your profile. 
Okay, so now that we have our TikTok account, um, I think it's probably best to create a content calendar the way I do with YouTube, um, just to make it easier um, to come up with ideas and to basically think of, you know, what we can, or basically so we don't have to think of what we need to say. Uh, we can just literally just look at the con content calendar, create that video on that specific day, post it, and then, you know, that is it. So that is going to be the next step. Oh, okay, so just quickly call it spreadsheet TikTok content calendar. Um, and then we'll have the days, because as I mentioned, we're going to be doing this for 30 days. So, whoop. okay, remove that last date. Um, the date, so we'll start on, today is the 25th, Saturday, so Sunday 24th. We'll start on Monday the 25th, so 25th of May 2020. Actually, you know, that is the European way of doing it. I think I need to do it the other way around for Google Sheets, so that is 05. 25 2020 and then oh shit there we go so we need to be doing this to the 23rd of june 2020 and then here we'll have all of the topics okay so what i'll just do now is just think of 30 topics that i can potentially um you know promote on tiktok Okay guys, so we've got our content here. These are the 30 topics that I could come up with. I'll probably change these over time because there's not, uh, like there's a few pieces of content here that aren't as uh, interesting, but this is just what I could come up with uh, at the moment. And then the first one of this whole series is how to earn money online during lockdown. Okay, so first attempt at filming a TikTok video part one. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I feel, I feel like I'm starting YouTube all over again. How to earn money online during lockdown part one. That wasn't so hard. Okay, so the first post is created and as you can see, I have left it in my drafts there for Monday. And basically what I'm going to do now is um, create like a little bit of a buffer uh, for you know the next week just so I can hit the ground running and just so I'm not stuck for time because during the weeks I am a lot more busy than I am in the weekends but um, a lot of work does go into that like that took me about 45 minutes and obviously it is my first video so it does take a while for me to get the hang of it but respect for, for people that do this on a daily basis because that was a graft for uh, like I said, just for one piece of content. I just finished editing post number two. Uh, this time I actually edited it in Final Cut Pro as opposed to trying to edit it within TikTok. TikTok day two. Uh, I posted one more yesterday as well and I've noticed a big increase in views. This one only got 80 views and this one got 145 views with the exact same hashtags. Posted this one late at night, this one early in the morning. So I'm going to test it one more time with today's video. Uh, got current, it's currently got zero views of course, I just posted it. If this one doesn't get a lot of views either, then I think I'm best just posting at night. Currently got uh, five followers. What's going on guys, so it's been exactly one week since I've started my TikTok journey and as you guys know, I sort of start with four uh, followers. As soon as I created the account, I had four followers. I now have 23 followers, so after one week of consistent uploads, um, you know, we've gained 19 new followers, and um, I've tried to, well, I've, I've been posting at least once a day, I've tried to add a few more little posts here and there, just to check out like, what times are the best times to post. I used to try and, um, you know, basically like, get it done and dusted with early in the morning, but I noticed that not a lot of people were viewing. The TikTok videos so I've been doing it a little bit later in the evening as well just to see what time works best and to be fair there's just absolutely it doesn't make sense at all some videos will get like over a thousand views and some videos will just get zero views for the first five hours and then jump up to like 84 um after like a, a few hours so it's yeah it's it's strange I'm enjoying it it's like it's, it's like going back to the times when Instagram didn't have the algorithm and it was literally just it was like uncharted territory and it was like like a land grab where everyone was just um, working hard and posting as much content as possible knowing that the more content you put out the more um, you know views you can get people will pick you up through the hashtags etc and just all in all just a much more exciting time obviously now the Instagram Algorithm is very, very limited, or in terms of the reach, you know, it's very limited. So I'm enjoying TikTok. It is a lot of work because I am posting original content that is native to the platform as opposed to recycling content on YouTube, etc. here from YouTube. So yeah, that is it for the first week. 
what I do need to figure out is, because obviously, you know, I said that I wanted to get up to 10k followers in the first month. Doesn't look like that is going to happen at all. So I might need to, um, you know, get some advice from those who are a little bit more further along in their TikTok journey. But um, like I said, I'll take you guys along with everything that I do regarding the TikTok videos. So guys, we are in week two of this TikTok challenge. And to be fair, I have been slacking a little bit. I'll just quickly get up uh, my stats. So I have actually grown the following quite a bit more than uh, the previous week. Um, but like I said, I haven't been uploading as consistently. How, well, to be fair, I have been uploading, but just not unique content. So what I've actually been doing is just reposting old videos just to get some kind of content on the page. But like I said, not as unique uh, as I wanted. So here we go. This is what the stats are uh, up until now. So as you can see, we have grown the following a bit more uh, today. We're actually at 185. So I'll just quickly add that here. 185. There we go. And then as you can see, I am uh, I'm behind on the uploads. Uh, so we are in week two, like I said, almost in week three now. Uh, but with the uploads, I've still got a lot of content to still record because I've been uploading um, or re-uploading videos that I've already uh, created. So in terms of my thoughts on uh, TikTok, I can see like the potential with it. It is hard, it is a lot of effort, and uh, basically what I'm trying to do, because I'm also trying to limit my screen time at the same time, which is another little challenge of mine, uh, a bit more of like a, a private victory, if you will, I'm not creating like a challenge video or anything like that. Um, so what I'm literally doing is I'm recording a TikTok video, uploading it onto TikTok, and then putting my screen away and I'm not really looking at what other people are posting in terms of TikTok. I'm not really engaged, I'm not really commenting. So I am slacking um, in that department. And like I said, you know, the YouTube, or not YouTube, the TikTok videos um, are mainly reposts that I'm posting. Um, so what I'm going to do, I do want to finish off this challenge strong. We have started it. Um, like, like basically the shiny object syndrome has now sort of faded away. Um, and now basically we're at the business end of this challenge so I just want to finish off strong I will make sure that I have 30 unique pieces of content on the channel uh, before we you know wrap up this challenge probably won't be making the 10k um, followers for TikTok with this challenge and um, like I said I had no idea how quickly you could grow a following on TikTok um, but it's the same as every other platform to be fair you know you need to put a lot of time and a lot of effort into it to grow it properly I have been doing a bit of research on YouTube I've also asked a good friend of mine called Max Hindle who's got a big big TikTok channel uh, at the moment I think he's at like 225,000 followers if I'm not mistaken um, I asked him you know how often do you need to upload on TikTok how often uh, do you need to engage and stuff like that and he basically said you know just put out three unique pieces of content every single day and you'll notice that your following will slowly grow over time there is no algorithm like sometimes i will post a uh, post at like 5 p.m which is like prime time and i'll get 100 views and then i'll repost that same piece of content uh, the next day at 5 p.m and i'll get like 800 to 900 views which for a small channel like mine is quite big because that's like a 900 percent engagement rate um as opposed to the one percent on facebook so uh, yeah like i said that's my update for now i'm going to try and finish off this challenge strong we won't be hitting the 10k followers uh well then again we do have two more weeks so it is possible but i'm not um i don't think we can get that i'm going to try and readjust the challenge and try and get 500 followers on tiktok by the end of the challenge which i think could be doable if i get more consistent with the uploads so guys the 30 day challenge has finally come to an end and i am officially tiktok famous now nah, i'm just kidding uh, actually towards the end of uh, this challenge i just brutally failed i didn't keep up with the plan and uh, to be fair, basically one of the features that they are now testing on TikTok is the uh, basically the availability of a website on your profile. So on your TikTok profile, you have um, basically you've got a small bio, and then they are now beta testing to have a link there as well. So what I did was I smashed through all of my videos on TikTok. I had them all in drafts. And then I basically applied for the beta version of the app so that I can use you know, the link because I wanted to promote my uh, own products and services, etc. And I also wanted to siphon some of the basically TikTok traffic onto my YouTube channel. So I 
uh, remove the app or basically download this like test flight app and then basically set up the beta version of the app and it removed all of my drafts. So after that, I was quite disheartened and demotivated to actually continue with um, basically with the TikTok videos. And that is sort of where I fell off the bandwagon. Um, I have ended the um, challenge with 257 followers. Let me see if I can get that to focus here. There we go, 257 followers, which is nowhere near my, uh, basically the, the first guesses I made. It's extremely difficult to grow on TikTok, but I have, like, I don't consider this an entire like, failure or anything like that, not a complete failure. I do have some tips and tricks for you guys that, you know, if you do actually want to continue with TikTok or if you actually want to grow your platform uh, on TikTok, grow your channel, grow your brand, etc. Then there are a few tips and tricks that I have got or things I have learned along the way. Number one is that you need to be extremely consistent with it and make sure that you post on TikTok at least three times a day. Now that might sound like a lot, you know, it sounds like it's something that you need to be working at full time, but there's actually a easy hack that I discovered um, when, you know, basically posting content on TikTok. The first one, the first piece of content has to be an original piece of content. So something that you will need to create again and again and again every single day. The second piece of content is basically a repost of your least performing video. So what I used to do for my second piece of content, because that is when I started seeing the most growth, is when I started posting twice a day. So the second piece of content uh, what I used to do is I used to go through my own TikTok feed, see which video performed the least, and repost that with different hashtags and a different, uh, you know, a different caption. Why? Because more often than not, the reason why your TikToks aren't getting a lot of views is because on the For You page, uh, the first 10% of the people that see the video didn't really react well to it, and then TikTok just removes it from the For You page. So if you post it again, you know who's to say that someone might not actually like the video and like comment etc and then from there tiktok will think okay this is actually a good piece of content i'll promote it uh, again and again and again on the for you page and i noticed quite often that some of the videos that initially didn't get a lot of views actually became uh, pieces of viral content when i reposted that same piece of content okay so first piece of content should be original second piece of content can, can be refurbished from your lesser performing uh, videos on TikTok. And then the third one is basically when you do a duet with someone else. So you react to someone else's video, which is extremely easy to do. All you need to do is watch their TikTok and have like the two screens next to each other um, in duet mode. And this is something that I haven't actually gotten around to do just yet, but I noticed that that is the missing piece for me. You know, if I want to get up to three pieces of content on TikTok every single day, then that is what I'll probably do. Second thing that I learned is that you will need to use the trends and the viral music, etc., to get seen. Why? Because there's a reason why it's trending, why it's going viral, etc., and people are actively looking for that specific song. So what you can do on TikTok, if you see a song that you like, you can click on the left bottom, click on that song, and you'll basically see all of the TikToks that are created with that one song. So from there, you know, you'll basically get more exposure if you use the viral music and the viral hashtags and so on and so forth, okay? So that is my second big tip, is to use viral content because there's a reason why it's going viral. And if you just go with the flow and ride the wave, you'll get more exposure and more followers and likes, etc. as well. And then my last tip for those that want to grow on TikTok, and probably my biggest tip, is to just be original, you know, be yourself on TikTok. You know, I did say that you need to go with the flow and uh, basically uh, recreate viral content, but there's a reason why people that put out original content are usually the people with the biggest following, because original content will always be better then you copy in someone else. So if you can be original, if you can come up with your own ideas, show your own personality, just be yourself on TikTok, you will grow much, much quicker as opposed to me just using like viral titles um, on an Excel sheet and just re -recreating, recreating those videos or creating those videos. So all in all, I don't consider it an entire failure. I have learned a lot about TikTok and as a digital marketer, it is sort of my duty to understand all these various platforms. Will I continue with TikTok? As of now, probably not. Why? Because my main passion, my main like sort of big domino of content is always going to be YouTube 
and as of now i don't have the time to put in the basically the time that tiktok deserves to grow the platform and i'd rather it do rather do it not at all than do it half assed where i'm just posting once every so often so for me at the time i thought this could be a good replacement for instagram but looking back now i think that for me instagram is an easier platform to keep up with and obviously youtube is my mainstay you know that is the thing that i love doing the most and that is the platform that i want to grow uh, the most as well so i've got certain goals and aspirations for youtube and if i put my time and effort into tiktok it will basically make my youtube growth and my youtube um goals etc suffer so i'm not saying that i'm going to quit tiktok altogether but for now i won't be continuing with a upload today because towards the end of this challenge i did sort of fall off the bandwagon anyway and then last but most certainly not least what did i think or what do i think of tiktok now that i'm more familiar with the platform um it is it's weird because if you would have told me that a few if you would have told me a few years ago that there's going to be a platform where you can post slightly longer vine videos um i would just say like that's just the same as instagram stories or instagram you know there's no difference it's not going to take off but i don't know how they've done it but it's just gone extremely extremely big and very very popular and i also find myself now scrolling through tiktok every now and again because i've got the app it's just very easy to go through it and it's it's like this endless pool of content like every time you swipe up you just get a new dopamine hit with new content it's funny it's creative it's unique and i think it is here to stay and i definitely think that if you are on the verge of creating tiktok content and you're unsure about it if it's worth your time definitely test it definitely try it out because you can go extremely big on tiktok and then you can siphon that content or siphon the traffic to whatever it is that you're promoting so you can earn a lot of money with tiktok as well so that is it for me for now hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you've got any more tips for me on how to grow on tiktok if i want to continue with it subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next video